Oh, I got to laugh at the NCAA. It's sort of a rite of passage. Anytime you get the opportunity, you're just like uh, obligated to do so. Uh, but Mark Emmert was uh, lobbying Congress on Tuesday, and he urged Congress to put restrictions on college athletes' ability to earn money from endorsements. Because as he put it, he's trying to, quote, maintain uniform standards in college sports. Uh, quick catch up. Last uh, year, California passed a bill that would allow student athletes to make money on their name, image, and likeness. The California bill does not go into effect, however. The law does not go into effect until 2023. So they built in a grace period for the NCAA to figure it out. 25 states, meanwhile, are considering similar legislation that might speed up that period. Some could be as early as the 2020 fall semester. But this is the kicker for me. Mark Emmert told Congress, quote, If implemented, these laws would give some schools an unfair recruiting advantage and open the door to sponsorship arrangements being used as a recruiting inducement. He continued. And this is where it gets really good. Remember, this is the president of the NCAA appearing before the United States Congress with a straight face saying, quote, this would create a huge imbalance among schools and could lead to corruption in the recruiting process. <laughs> oh, oh, um, Oh, excuse me. So, um, corruption in the recruiting process. Didn't we just have a massive federal criminal case involving shoe companies' involvement in the recruiting process? Like, isn't this the intercollegiate athletic model that produced the Pony Express at SMU? And the death penalty? This is the same NCAA that's produced Albert Means, Reggie Bush, Cam Newton, Rick Patino, Kelvin Sampson, the Fab Five, Ohio State's tattoos, Bernie Fine. Need I continue? And you're sitting here with a straight face telling Congress that this law might create imbalances and corruption in recruiting? Mark, imbalances? LSU's got airplane pods in their football building. (laughs) Airplane pods. You think McNeese has airplane pods? Alabama's got a barber shop in their football building. Two years ago, guys couldn't even have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Oregon's got a waterfall. University of Texas has a giant flat screen in every player's locker. And you're worried about imbalances? How are we supposed to take you seriously? How dense are they? Y'all, this man went before the United States Congress and said these things. These are our taxpayer dollars that are spending to put these people in this building to consider things that might impact our lives. And the president of the NCAA with a straight face is trying to lobby against this bill so that way we prevent recruiting improprieties and don't allow imbalances in college athletics. 99.3%, 99.3%, this is a true number, 99.3% of the top 100 players in the country Go to Power 5 schools. There's already imbalances, Mark. What are you doing? How can we ever actually have change if you're not going to acknowledge that something is wrong? I almost hit the TV. That would have been really bad. I'd have to buy a new flat screen. Maybe I could have just stolen one from Texas. They got tons of them. Go to break, Musso. We'll wrap up next. AFR. 